Hello friends, this is Srikant and today we will be solving this problem of cavity map of hacker rank. So you are given a square map of size n cross n and uh, each cell of the map has a value denoting its depth. Okay. Uh, we will call a cell of the map a cavity if and only if this cell is not on the border of the map and each cell adjacent to it has strictly smaller depth. What does it mean? Let's look at this sample example. So this is the uh, map given here. So the each cell represents the depth of the map. That is how deep it is. Okay. So uh, as we can see here, uh, uh, cell is called a cavity if all the adjacent uh, four cells. Suppose say we are considering this nine in the second row. Okay. So uh, all the cells. Uh, around the top right bottom and left are less than uh, this number okay therefore it is a cavity okay so uh, the diagonal uh, are not are not considered here only the top right bottom and left cells are considered for being considered as a cavity okay so uh, it's a very simple problem uh, the input uh, part is already given uh, uh, so the input is already taken into uh, grid okay now what we will do is uh, we will iterate through i is equal to 1 since uh, the cells at the edges cannot be uh, a cavity we only consider uh, the cells in the middle which are not at the edges at the sides completely okay i less than n minus 1 okay i plus plus and for int j equal to 0 j less than n j plus plus ok now uh, we simply have to check uh, j less than n minus 1 and j also will start from 1 sorry ok now we simply have to check uh, for each cell if uh, the top uh, cell bottom cell right cell and left cell are less than this current cell for that what we will do is we will create a simple array this is a very small tick which is used quite often ok uh, is equal to for, uh, for the current cell the top cell will be uh, x will be minus 1 and y will be 0 ok so minus 1 for the right uh, comma y of array is equal to so the to for the top cell getting the top cell we will have x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 0 ok now for the right cell x will be 0 and y will be plus 1 ok and uh, for the bottom cell x will be plus 1 and y will be 0 and for the uh, left cell x will be uh, 0 and y will be minus 1 ok now uh, to get the s corresponding cells uh, what we have to do is if grid of the current cell is less than the top cell top cell will be i plus x of 0 and j plus y of 0 ok and this we have got the top cell grid of we'll just try to copy it ok Mm, yeah now we will change for the right cell it will be x1 and y1 ok for the bottom cell x2 y2 and for the left cell x3 y3 ok this by this we will get uh, uh, the corresponding top right bottom and left cells ok 
if all of them are small then we have to do what we have to do is we have to place a x in place of that number okay in place of x we have so the x will show the cavity so what we will do is we will make grid of the current cell equal to x okay now we simply have to print the grid okay so for that what we will do is we will copy this code and paste it here and instead of c in we will c out okay 0 to n grid of i plus plus and for each we will have a new line okay okay i think it is done let's run a sample test case and see if we pass the sample test case uh oh so there is some error here let's see what the error is uh, x okay Grid of ij is equal to oh, it should be greater for all. Uh, sorry for the mistake. Now we will run the test case. Okay. So the sample test case has passed. Now we will submit the code. So all the test cases have passed. Hope you liked the video. Thank you very much.